Sakurai said something small but really meaningful during his presentation on the new Smash Brothers. When speaking of how they added every character back to Smash for this one, he said, We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. I don't think that's where this statement ends. If you watched my previous video on Smash, you know I went into Sakurai's design philosophies, and how he really makes the games for himself strictly in how he envisions them, to the point of pushing back against the idea of people playing them any differently. To briefly go over that, one example is the reason you can't use the dual stick attachment in Kid Icarus Uprising. This is because Sakurai didn't envision it being played as a twin stick shooter, even if many people believe it would play better that way. He wanted it played only exactly how he imagined it. This is only one of many examples again. This mindset is how tripping became a thing in Brawl, why story mode was axed after subspace, and it's why initially, heavily requested features like a stage hazard toggle were left out. But here we see a lot of things that Sakurai seems to not really agree with for how he wants Smash to be seen, but a lot of this is what the fans want. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm sure some of you still won't be happy. However, in my opinion, this game is about pleasing everyone. Unless you're someone who just refuses to play anything but melee, or someone on the other end, who hates anything that just even slightly looks like melee, I imagine most of you will be happy with this. I mean, let's start with the obvious. Every character is back, especially when it comes to getting third-party license. I believe Sakurai and his team put in a lot of work on all fronts here. Particularly, the three new characters are some of the most requested. One of them being probably the most requested in franchise history. He's here! <laughs> it doesn't even stop there when it comes to the characters. One of the most requested changes to an existing member of the cast is Ganon. Since his first inclusion, he's been using a moveset based heavily on Captain Falcon. Some changes happened over time to his special moves, but he never truly felt like the Ganondorf we know from the games. Until now, where his smash attacks have all been finally changed to reflect Ganon's combat style in the Legend of Zelda series. Now this character truly seems like the one we know, not some clone of an F-Zero racer. Characters are just the beginning as well. Many players have said at the Smash Invitational that Nintendo staff were asking for opinions on what they want to see from the game a far cry from the mindset present a few years ago, so I really don't think it's a coincidence that we're seeing so much heavily requested stuff. You can see this from the second you start the game. Now you pick a stage before even selecting a character, a neat little adjustment to decentify stage counterpicking. The game finally starts on stock, you know, the mode people actually play, instead of time which just about nobody ever touches. Battlefield variations of all stages, which are more balanced for large portions of the cast than the mega stages. And as I'm writing this, they just announced that not only do we get Battlefield versions of all stages, but finally the ability to turn stage hazards off, thank you. Mechanic changes like the directional air dodge being back, the ledge system losing the magnet hands, thank god, dodge rolls being nerfed, the rage mechanics seemingly being removed or heavily toned down, and quite possibly landing lag being reduced on a variety of aerials. Lastly, what I think shows clearly that this game is actually designed for everyone is how the game is balanced differently depending on if you're playing 101 or not. This allows competitive matches to be sped up, which directly addresses the biggest complaint about Smash 4's competitive scene. That matches go on too long, and even as a casual player, I felt this way myself. In fact, I think several of the changes done to mechanics were made to address this and the overly defensive nature of the game, something I've seen both camps of people ask for. Then there's also a slew of new UI elements, just simply improving quality of life for every player, as well as a bunch of other neat little touches they added, improving the experience. Now this is just all we currently know though. I mean, the game was announced just two days ago. With this design philosophy being present in the game, we might get other heavily fan requested features, such as a new story mode or at least an adventure mode, instead of something like Smash Tour. I think what's important to take away here is these changes address different groups, not just the casual players and not just the competitive. This is really taking everyone into account and finding a happy middle ground for those situations when both sides want different things. They really genuinely tried to make this game appeal to everyone, not just casual fans, but also the more serious players. Instead of almost seeming like they were parroting them by only adding a no items final destination mode or having Reggie say no Johns. I do want to make it clear before this video ends that I know Smash has always done stuff for its fans, but the level in which they're doing so for this iteration is unprecedented by a long shot. Smash has always been a special game to me, over the years I've made so many memories with the series. It's how this channel got started and it's how I met my best friend. I know after my last video on Smash 4, a lot of viewers assumed I'm just a melee elitist who couldn't possibly like a new Smash game, but if you actually take the time to watch the video instead of just reading the title, you know I just want an experience that takes everyone into account. I really don't want melee too. In fact, what I want is seemingly exactly what this game is trying to be. So for this one, thanks Sakurai.